Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and do a tribute to the EWE block channel from David Jones. Thanks for all this opportunity. So today's topic is the ESP32 and the ultra low coprocessor and also using the ADC in deep sleep mode. I test a small program provided by as an example from Espressive. So I measure the current that's flow through the ESP32 while in deep sleep mode and also measuring the maybe one voltage level of your battery and if the voltage level reach some thresholds and high or low threshold then the ESP32 can wake up from the deep sleep mode and do whatever you want. And before we start, we need some utilities. We need, beside the ESP, IDF development environment, we also need the ESP32 bin utilities for the ultra low processor. And you can find the link in the description. I download the Linux 64 bit version from here and then install it into my Ubuntu system. So after downloading, I extract the the GNU zip file to whatever I want and then add the path into my path variable. And then we can start and compiling our ESP32 example. Then I start by importing new makefile project to my Eclipse Oxygen IDE and also copy all the make targets and set all the path and environment settings to compile all the code. And then we can start by pressing make menu config and I only configure the serial flasher so we don't use the very slow speed, I use the high speed <coughs> that I can use. So then let's compile the code and I can show you all the compiling output. And then after compiling, then we can upload the firmware to our ESP32 by pressing the flash and monitor button. And on my bench, I have a simple voltage divider with two one Mac ohm resistors. So I divide my 3.3 volt rail in two halves and get around 1.65 volt from the voltage divider. And this is my threshold for the ESP32 to wake up. And if I below that threshold, then the ESP is wake up. And also if I above this threshold, but I test this only with the zero or ground line with the voltage divider from 1.65 volt and also with the 3.3 volt rail. So we get some values from the ADC between the values from zero to 4069. And for the test with the ESP32, I use my special homebrew adapter without any other circuitry beside the reset and boot button. And so I can measure the real current flow through the ESP32. So here we see my setup on the bench and the ESP32 is also connected to a 3.3 volt voltage source from an USB adapter. Then the rail goes through my fluke in milliamp or microamp range and also the other fluke meter measure the voltage from the rails. So then all the current flow into the ESP32 and to ground. And the other USB adapter is an CP2102 UART converter and it's used only the ground, the TX and RX rail to the ESP32. And also the GPIO pin 15 is connected to ground to suppress some boot messages. And the GPIO pin 35 is used as an ADC. So now let's reset our ESP32 and we see at start we measure some milliampere through the ESP32, but then in deep sleep mode we 
get around 7 to 10 microamperes. And, and this even while the ADC is measuring the values. So if we then use our threshold to wake up the ESP32, then we see we switch back to some below some milliamperes, but then we switch back to the deep sleep mode again. And so you see the measurements reading are switching between different values. And then after reaching the deep sleep mode again, we see our 7 to 10 microamperes, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more. So that's all for today. I hope you find this interesting and hopefully learn something. You find more infos in the description and all the links to the software and also to my hardware adapter if you need it or need some ideas around this hardware adapter. And you can share or like this video and also subscribe to my channel. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.